Tonight on your side is your local election headquarters. It is 35 days until election day, and we don't need to tell you, political ads are everywhere on Wavy and Fox 43. Andy Fox is tracking the truth in his popular report, Truth Trackers. Andy is here with a preview of the second congressional district. Stephanie and Regina, the second district congressional race has raised more money than any congressional district in Virginia or North Carolina, almost $7.5 million. There is not a more closely watched race in the country. Democratic incumbent Elaine Luria faces off against Republican challenger State Senator Jane Kiggins. And you get the feeling quickly that they really don't care for each other. She told us Congresswoman Elaine Luria got primetime attention for her position and performance on the select committee investigating the January 6th insurrection. She has said repeatedly, if it means she doesn't get reelected, then so be it. Luria also serves on the House Armed Services Committee. Especially focused on the military, military readiness, building a fleet that um, can deal with the challenges we have in the world, such as you know, deterring China from invading Taiwan, supporting NATO after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Most of Luria's campaign against her Republican challenger, Jen Kiggins, centers on Kiggins' opposition to abortion rights. She applauded the Supreme Court decision that ended abortion protections, which has led hospitals to turn women away from life-saving care. Kiggins does say she supports the right to an abortion in cases of rape, incest, and when the mother's life is in danger. For her part, Kiggins' campaign has laser-focused on a challenged national economy. That's what we hear about day in and day out is the economy. Gas is too high, groceries are too high, back-to-school supplies are too high, people who have had money can't save as much, people who are on fixed incomes can't pay for their bills, one out of six you know, Americans can't pay their utility bills right now. This is what we hear, the economy, the economy, economy. Commercial supporting Kiggins slam Luria for this statement made to fellow Democrats. Thank God we elected Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and they've done so many good things. You know what's wrong for Virginia are the failed policies of Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and in the second district they go by the name of Elaine Luria. When Kiggins said that, I pointed out to Kiggins her opponent's name is pronounced Luria, not Luria. You know it's a Luria. You're Elaine Luria. Luria, that's well, her name. Elaine Luria. Well, she can call me and tell me, I guess. <laughs> Congresswoman Elaine Luria has been around. She was first elected in 2018, and she is seeking a third two-year term. Tonight at 530, we track the truth in the two big issues emerging in this race. That at 530. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.